Welcome back. It's 1221. If you still need a reason to give up smoking, a recent study is pretty eye-opening. Researchers found that smoking can actually shrink your brain, much like the way that Alzheimer's disease damages the brain. Beth Galvin explains. This study found that smoking prematurely ages the brain, that the brains of people who are daily smokers look older on images than those of their peers who don't smoke. But the lead researcher says if you can quit, you may be able to slow down the damage. For years, researchers have warned that smoking damages the heart and lungs, but a new research study shows it may also be doing a number on our brains. It is doing damage to the brain, it is aging the brain, and making the brain more susceptible to Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Laura Byrud, a professor of psychiatry at Washington University in St. Louis, led this study, which found that daily smoking may cause the brain to prematurely shrink. The more you smoke, the more your brain ages, the longer you smoke, the more your brain ages. Dr. Byrut says as we age, our brains lose volume, but smoking speeds up that process. Researchers studied scans from about 30,000 volunteers who underwent brain imaging as part of the giant health database UK Biobank. And they compared the brain scans of smokers and non-smokers in the same age groups. What we know is that the individuals who are smoking have older looking brains than um, people who've never smoked. By root says the damage can be subtle, building up over time as smoking blocks small blood vessels that supply oxygen to the heart and lungs and brain. You're starving the brain of oxygen, and the brain is an organ that loves oxygen. It uses a tremendous amount of oxygen. And so we're we, it looks like we're generally starving the brain of the oxygen it needs. If you can find a way to quit, Byrut says, you may be able to slow down the damage. And when you quit, it's not as if your brain goes back to a younger brain. What it does is it stays where it is. But quitting smoking is one of the most important things that people could do for their health. And Dr. Byrut says smokers may not experience problems related to brain volume shrinkage until later in life when they're in their 60s and 70s and 80s. But she says you want to live as long a quality of life as possible with as good a memory as possible so it is never too late to quit smoking. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.